and they're off. Waylon Willie leaves a bit for Campbell from the outside. False alarm scoots out quickly, as does Avacal Scooter and Mystical Mike and Ron Pierce right there battling for the lead. Avacal Scooter and Mystical Mike matching strides into the opening turn, and False Alarm will land on the cones in third. He's about three lengths from the lead. Go for it on the outside fourth. Front Street Marty from a trailing position fifth, and Mystical Mike cannot clear a headstrong Avacal Scooter. The quarter in 26 and 2. Mystical Mike backs off, tries to squeeze into the two hole, and False Alarm was in very tight there. Go for it goes a bit wide in fourth. Racing in fifth is Front Street Marty. San Jim Ignato tips to the outside after that early action. Waylon Willie gaps his cover seventh. Kirk Diggler is eighth on the inside. Racing in ninth is Mr. Prez behind a gapping Waylon Willie. Have a good life pinned on the cones in tenth. Riverboat King poorly positioned in eleventh, and even further back to by a length who trails the field. The half was in 55 seconds flat. San Jim Ignato is now brushed past to take the lead. Abacal Scooter is racing in second. Up on the outside is Go For It. He's been owed all the way and he's grinding first over. Front Street Marty gets out to follow his cover. Second over. Trapped in is Mystical Mike on the inside. Fifth Waylon Willie is third over. Six lengths from the lead. From the back of the pack, Riverboat King is on the move. He's coming three wide now as they pace past three quarters. One, twenty-three and one. And San Jim Ignano is pouring it on and he's sprinted well clear of the field. Some six lengths in front. Riverboat King went off stride on the outside. Waylon Willie has moved into second. Mr. Prez closing toward third. Front Street Marty is racing in fourth. Late pace from by a length on the outside. San Jim Ignano tires and Waylon Willie blows right past. It's Campbell and Waylon Willie to win it from San Jim Ignato. Mr. Prez third by a length fourth. Tight for fifth. 151 flat. Well, John, your impressions of Whale and Willie this week and last week? Well, he raced just as good last week, uh, just at an impossible spot coming from way back. Uh, but he's a colt that really closes well. Um, you know, he, he ran down a real good colt tonight and made up a lot of ground. And uh, uh, it's, it's hard to race a closer here anymore, but, uh, you know, he's overcoming it right now. There was some uh, early activity in the race here. Uh, tell us what happened early. Well, there was, as you might expect, uh, you know, 12 horses, there's going to be some action on the front. And I was fortunate enough to get a spot in the first turn and uh, rode up third over. And, uh, you know, around the last turn, he felt real good. I wasn't sure he was going to catch the Jack's Cole on the front, but uh, I was, thought he was going to be qualified and hit the board. And uh, he just, uh, you know, just kept making up ground through the stretch. Okay, uh, Tiberwood, uh, next race, uh, one of the horses to beat. Uh, Whaler Willie also in that category? Well, I don't know until he faces him, but I mean, he's certainly a nice call. I mean, he, he paced in 15 apiece last week, and, uh, you know, he's doing it uh, from off the pace and with bad posts. If he gets a good post, I think he's going to go faster than what he has. Thanks, John Campbell. Owner Gunther Unflat was with us. Uh, yeah. Tell us, how did you acquire Whalen Willie? Uh, he's a homebred. Okay, now, this is your first venture into the, uh, the big time three year old game here? Uh, probably the, at this level, yes. What's the best horse you had previous? Uh, I guess Johnny Dragon, Manhattan Girl, or Deb's Daredevil. We've had quite a few. And the name, Whale and Willie, where'd they come from? Uh, we named them Whale and Willie because when I came out of the house to feed in the morning, he used to yell at me every morning. So I went like he's whaling or bellowing. So like the, like the whaling and Willie was, you know, Whale and Willie, country music. Okay, now last week you shipped in here 150 and 1. This week you're right there with the best three year olds. Are you surprised he's been this good this fast? No, not really. We know what he had. And Mark Silver, you, you worked with him before? Yes, he has. He's had a couple of my claimers. Tiberwood, does he scare you at all? No, not really. Gary Matches scare you at all? No. Nobody scares you? Nobody scares me. We'll look forward to seeing you. Will we see you here next week in the Winter Circle? I hope so. I hope so. Okay, good luck. Congratulations to Whale and Willie, and good luck in the final next week for 300000